Hey yo, what up bros? Uh, today, we're gonna talk about Pokemon Sleep's Premium Pass and whether it's worth it and what the benefits are. Uh, I've been using this for a week now on the free trial, no cost period. Uh, it gives you a good idea of what it actually does. And now I've been comparing it to Piggy's account who hasn't activated the Premium Pass for the free trial. Uh, I do plan on cancelling the trial after it's finished, uh, but I will go through now. Uh, all the benefits you get from the Pokemon Sleep Premium Pass. Uh, first of all, probably the best part of this Premium Pass, especially given that I get a two-week free trial period, um, and I do recommend getting it just for the free trial period at, at the very least, is the Daily Bonus Biscuit upgrade to the Premium Bonus Biscuit. What this essentially does is... In, so your Daily Biscuit will become a premium bonus biscuit which increases friendship by four points as opposed to the usual three. The great thing about that is that you would then only need to feed um, a normal Pokemon that is of base evolution like let's say a Charmander who only needs five friendship points um, to, to be recruited to become a helper. Therefore, you, So you would only need to feed one of these biscuits plus one Pokey biscuit which is worth only one point. If you feed a regular daily bonus biscuit, that means you give them three points, you're still missing by two. It would be a shame, a bit of or a bit of a waste to use a great biscuit, and I'll show you what I mean. Let's go to the shop. Um, because you only need five points. Whereas if you use a pokey biscuit, which gives you one point, it, the Pokemon might become full too soon. So pokey biscuits, increase one friendship point. Great Biscuits increase three friendship points. So three plus three is six. Three plus one is four. So it can become a problem uh, in terms of recruiting new Pokemons. So you would need two Poke Biscuits. But if it, if or by um, by chance the Pokemon becomes full, then, then uh, so you fed it too many Biscuits, then you won't be recruited that day. The good news is I have seen people where... So I didn't experience this myself, but I have seen people who have fed their Pokemons, um, didn't get to recruit them, and eventually they will come back with already some friendship points from your prior from their prior visit. So you keep those friendship points until their next visit, if they visit again. That's not to say that it's guaranteed that they'll visit again tomorrow, but when they do come back, and I assume it has to be the same island, then you'll be able to to finish off that friendship point. So if you did four points a day, just do one more the next time it comes back. But of course, we do move islands. So I think it's every week, so that might become a problem. Uh, once you move islands for the same Pokemon, I don't, I, I'm not sure, but it may not carry over the friendship points. So that's the best part about the premium biscuit, is that I'm pretty much every day guaranteed to have one new helper, as long as I have a pokey biscuit which brings me to the next point about the benefits of the premium pass you get to use the premium exchange so this thing here so all that it, that is is where you would normally use your sleep points so let's have a look at our exchange so under the shops button over here uh, reg under normal situations, you would have access to the regular exchange, which is this. Um, and a Pokey Biscuit would cost you 150 sleep points. Whereas, if you use the premium exchange, it would only cost you 100 sleep points. So you would be saving overall. And you can see I've already bought a bunch. So, so I do recommend that if you're on the pass, buy everything you can in this shop. Um, and uh, because there's a limit to how many they stock, uh, I think it's each week. So while you've got the free trial pass, buy these things as much as you can. Um, don't be too wasteful, of course. Uh, otherwise, once you go back to the regular pass, you'll be paying extra for for some items, especially the pokey biscuits. So while you have access, do that. Um, I don't recommend, and I made this mistake very early on, I was just testing the game, I don't recommend spending your gems just yet, because we can get by without spending gems. And gems are much rarer to come by, 
and they seem to be a lot more limited. Uh, they're associated with completing certain missions in the game, uh, and I imagine there's a limit to the number of missions, whereas sleep points, you literally just sleep more and you get more points. So there's an unlimited pool of sleep points, so use those instead if you're just buying pokey biscuits. So just to recap now, um, great thing, the, the two best things about the premium pass is it costs you less sleep points, so you can buy more stuff uh, to, to get biscuits, for example. And also you get these bonus biscuits, which give four points as opposed to three every day. Uh, a bunch of other things, unlimited sleep data. So it, pretty much what it says is it will store, uh, the, the game actually stores every all the sleep data that you've been collecting on a server permanently. But in order to access all the sleep data, you will need to have the premium pass. I can't imagine that anybody will need the sleep data for more than 30 days anyway, because, well, you get the 30 days for free with a regular pass. So I don't think that's that useful. You get a hundred bonus sleep points every day. So that's, that's basically one biscuit. Um, you get a good camp. Now this is an interesting one. We'll go through that at the end. Additional lavish rewards. Now this one, I, <laughs> this was an interesting one. Every three months that you're on the actual paid premium pass, which doesn't include the free trial one, you'll get these bonus rewards. So you'll get a, a handy candy, sub skill seed, and a dream cluster. But it will take you three months to get one of these, or one set of these. So it's it takes a long time and it costs a lot. The premium pass is not cheap. For a, for a you know a mobile phone game, uh, as well as you need to stay subscribed. I'm not sure if that means that if you stop for a month and pick it up another month, you might not get these lavish rewards. It says stay subscribed, so that's that's a curious point. Um, and unlock a diary. That this is completely useless. You can just make your own notes on your, on your on your phone or something. You can write all sorts of things in the diary um, with your sleep data. Try to jot down observations of things how you note, noted about how you slept, etc. You can write two hundred characters. I'll show you where that is. Uh, it's a little bit um, hidden. So if you go to the sleep data here. And let's say I click this one in the top right here. There's a diary and that's it. That's literally it. You just put it, just write it in your phone. If you have to, it's, it's not that good. It's, it's pretty pointless. So there you have it guys. Um, that is the sleep pass. Now I did promise that I would go back and talk about the good camp set. So it's this thing here, monthly gifts of a good camp ticket and 1000 uh, sleep points every month. Um, so let's go over to the good camp. Okay, so this is the bonus effects of a good camp set, which comes with the premium pass. Now, you you'll get an extra Pokemon appear for you for your sleep research and be extra hungry. Um, so that happens every now and then anyway. Where or if you use an incense, you'll get the extra hungry Pokemon um, just means that your biscuits would be worth more um, every time you feed them. So you're more likely to recruit more Pokemons. Your cooking pot being 50% larger in order, so that means fitting more ingredients at an early stage of the game, which is right now. I don't think that matters. In fact, most of the time I just look, I, I, I haven't done a lot of cooking. But most of the time, I just do this uh, drought katsu curry, uh, since Snorlax is currently favoring curries. Um, if you want to know more about how to make new dishes in this game, I've made a separate video uh, explaining how to use some resources to find out what uh, ingredients are needed. I'll leave uh, for, for new dishes. I'll leave a link in the description below if you're interested. Now, most of the early game dishes like this they don't take a lot of ingredients. So I'm not really sure why you want to increase the ingredients going into the pot by that much, unless you're just doing auto cooking and hoping that by chance you'll run into some new dishes, uh, then it might be helpful because then you could put more random ingredients in and 
randomly hit some new dishes. Uh, helpers work 20, uh, 20% faster. So far, I found that they fatigue so fast, it doesn't matter. So just because if they're helping 20% faster, but the energy is not replenishing quick enough, and I'll show you my teams, um, oh, I recently restored their energy. But look at this team. Look at the energy levels of this team. They're, they're out. <laughs> they are out. So working them faster, if they have no energy, doesn't make sense to me. So I don't feel like it's a necessity at this stage of the game where we need to use the good camp set. Um, and helpers will be able to carry 20% more berries or ingredients than usual. So, so far, for the cost of the sleep pass, which again, just depends on your region. Um, not really seeing the great benefits. It's not a competitive game, so just play at your own pace. And you'll still earn sleep points every day. Uh, it will just cost you a little bit more to get more sleep points and just it's not necessary I feel So like I said guys if you do end up getting the free trial premium pass uh, Two recommendations for you one is actually build up some points first So that when you do get the pass you can buy everything in this shop uh, in this premium exchange shop I don't actually know what most of the items do, <laughs> but they look cheaper, so get it first. Um, this is the regular exchange. So hot, handy candy, small is 160. A handy candy, medium, which you can't even get in the regular shop, right, is, is 500. So get everything you can in the premium shop um, before the pass expires. And the second thing is, uh, if you're not thinking of renewing, making sure that you cancel the subscription and you can do that uh, over on the sleep pass page. So, man, the loading screens in this game are very long. So over here, uh, if you click the little button there with the exclamation mark and you can press manage subscription and that's how you can, you can, it will take you to the Google play or, uh, whatever, um, app store you use to cancel the subscription. All right, guys, uh, let me know if you have any more tips and tricks, uh, regarding the, premium pass or the free trial period uh, by leaving a comment in the comment section below. If you have any questions, you're welcome to ask me in the comment section. I'll try to reply as soon as possible, but I am more active and I do respond quicker on Discord. I'll leave a link to my Discord channel in the description below as well. Have a good night.